This morning, officials in Riverside County, California, are releasing these images, hoping to identify the only remaining unidentified victim of convicted serial killer Keith Hunter Jesperson. So easily able to kill her and just dump her on the side of the road like she was trash, and she's not, and she deserves dignity and respect. The body of the woman known as Claudia was discovered along Highway 95 in August of 1992. Jesperson was referred to as the happy face killer because he drew smiley faces on letters to the media and police. He confessed to murdering Claudia and seven other women. Jesperson is currently serving multiple life sentences for having killed eight women across the country. This woman is the last of all his victims to remain unidentified. It's believed Claudia was hitchhiking, eventually getting into a truck with Jesperson, but the two got into a heated argument during a stop. This would be Claudia's last meal. After eating, the two had a heated argument in Jesperson's truck. This is where he killed her. Jesperson continued east on I-10. He turned onto Highway 95 towards Blythe, where he left the woman's body on the side of the road. Authorities say advances in DNA technology, the woman's remains, and a recent jailhouse interview with Jesperson have helped, adding that Claudia may not be her real name. She is described as a white female with fair complexion. She was around 25 to 35 years old at the time of her death. She was about five feet, seven inches tall with medium build. She likely had brown or dyed blonde hair. Also releasing images of a rendering of the shirt she was wearing when she was found and a distinct tattoo, two small dots on the left side of her right thumb. Even though this killer is behind bars and never going to get out, this victim has an identity, has, is a real person, and we want to make sure that we give her back her identity and give closure to these families. Genealogists were able to determine some of Claudia's relatives, including her father, who they say is now deceased. They say other relatives found are half siblings, but they weren't aware Claudia existed, so they haven't been able to help. Investigators in Florida recently used this same DNA technology to identify one of Jesperson's victims found in 1994. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.